Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the game with Creeper. Um, I know I'm not wearing my glasses right now, um, but it's pretty light outside right now, so I, sh so I can see pretty nice. So. One thing that really irritates me. Yo, I'm still catching that. So, uh, when people say that people that have glasses, that need glasses, are just completely blind without them. It's really not true, because I can see pretty decently without them. But the weird thing is, I think it's really weird how, how they, um, how, um, when I started wearing them, and then, um, so when I started wearing them, what is it, um, after like a couple months, which it's pretty sure it's been, like now, my vision's actually worse, uh, without them, than before. Because before, my vision was pretty decent, right? It wasn't the best, it, not, not anywhere near where we're as good as we used to be. Um, but nowadays, it's like, it's like literally my visions, my vision is literally went down the trash, like, come on. I mean, it's kind of stupid if you think about it. So, yeah. These guys are not hard. There's like next to no one pop, nothing popping up now. So two bell sprouts. I'm gonna transfer this one. Think that I can actually transfer. I think I, I think I can actually give all this one. No, I cannot. Okay. So now we're gonna look for that. It was a that uh, magnet type one. I can't remember the name. Magnetite, I think. Magnemite, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Well, I thought... What? I always thought it was Magnemite, then I thought it changed. And now it's like Magnemite again. What? That makes no sense. Oh, I actually have probably one. Guys, before I... I just realized I actually have a metapod. Like, I don't remember catching them. <laughs> I, I, I got very, like, I very vaguely remember me catching a metapod. I honestly don't know, though. But in case you guys didn't know, I named him Mr. Krabs. If you guys haven't seen some of my earlier videos, um, I named a Krabby Mr. Krabs. And then... And then, um... Which I evolved them. So our goal was to do that. And yeah, he's, and he's evolved Mr. Krabs now. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness, well, I actually caught a few Pokemon off camera too. In case you guys didn't know, I haven't made a Pokemon Go video in a while. But, um, uh, my starter Pokemon is actually a Pikachu. A male Pikachu, right? With no hat, by the way. So now the Pikachu I recently caught is a female, and the way you can tell is because the can not the camera block. The tail is like a heart shaped type one thing. And, all, and then also, it also has a hat. So two differences. Come on, there you go, I think. Just, um, I'm gonna put you guys on my 
arm real quick so I can open the soda. There's that cat I saw last night. I think it is anyways. Looks very similar. Okay, right, so one so last night I saw a cat on my grandfather's uh um, tire. It wasn't like actually under it, it was like it was like behind it because it's right there in front of me. Looks very similar. Blondish type look. So yeah. I looked at it and just ran away pretty much. Honestly, it kind of startled me a little bit because of the fact that I didn't really expect it. Hi, kitty. <clears throat> oh, there's her. I can't do anymore. Wow. I am sad. I am sad. Oh. I am sad. There we go. In case to you guys that don't know, like my friend Jeff also knows Phaser 12 if he hadn't changed his name yet, but, um, he, um, noticed that I am actually able to do a really good Baymax impression. If you guys have never seen the movie Big Hero, Big Hero 6, and don't know what a, and don't know what Baymax is, but pretty much he's a giant robot that helps with medical stuff. So, and here's his, and here's um, the f one of the first things he says in the movie. Hello, my name is Baymax, your personal health care assistant. Hold on. Let me try that again. Hello, my name is Baymax, and I'm your personal health care assistant. How may I assist you today? I can actually do a, um... Pretty decent um, Barney impression and also Siri impression. So if you guys think I should do some reaction videos, let me know um, in the comments. Um, so let me know in the comments if you want me to do some reaction videos. Um, Honestly, I think but I'm going to be doing things that are, I'm going to try to do things that have no swears. I'm going to try to do that. can't promise it's not going to be. Okay, you should try to make yourself family friendly, so. I know most of my viewers are like, uh, like, like generally older kids. Hold on. As in like 10, like 15 year olds, I don't know though. Um, I'm just guessing your ages pretty much from the range of your ages. Eight, eight ages, wow. I'm just guessing the range of your ages pretty much. And, and don't tell me, and don't be in the comments really mad that, um, that I'm not 10, I'm 9. How dare you? <laughs> You've seen a bunch of those on YouTube, like. Someone tries to guess someone's age and it's like, and they get real mad. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, sorry, I kind of spaced out for a second. Um... So yeah, honestly, because I've seen that in a few in a few videos, and honestly, it's absolutely hilarious. Because the kid was like raging. So um, one per so the YouTuber I don't remember the name of the YouTuber. Um, actually said um, because one of his viewers actually um contacted him through like Snapchat or something, and said. 
I don't remember exactly what they said, but they were saying like, hi, I'm the biggest fan or something like that. And, um, so after they did that, um, uh, the guy yeah, was, like, wa like, watching it, right? Um, what is it? So he said, so the kid was actually 11 years old, and then, and then the YouTuber said, dude, you look like you're like 12. And so like, why do you have Snapchat? <laughs> and then, and, and then the kid saw the video, and, uh, and, he, com and he commented, um, you're the worst YouTuber ever. My, I'm actually 11, you know. <laughs> it's like, my God. It's like, come on, people. This is really what society has come to be. You know what's really weird, guys? Yeah, so, um, because the reason why I didn't actually post any video last week was because I was actually at a summer camp from Monday through Friday. Yes, I know. I was at a summer camp. Not a summer school, a summer camp, okay? There's a difference. And, um, I actually did like it there. I did. Because we did a lot of fun stuff, too. We did a lot of fun, fun stuff. I actually brought home some plants. I brought home a tree. It's a aronia tree, I believe. Yeah, it's an aronia tree. And, and it pretty much has black choke berries. And no, it's not strangling you like Homer and Bert Simpson. Uh, but, um... It's pretty much a berry that's really, really tart, also known as sour. So it's, if you eat any of them, they're perfectly fine to eat. Plus, they're really healthy too, apparently. Apparently, like, really healthy. Um. So pretty much, since like really healthy, I guess um you can put like a little bit of sugar with it, and it'd be fine. Your parents would be super healthy. You know, some people say like something like superfoods, but then they don't mention uh, choke berries. Well, that's because they're super, um, um, they are apparently super duper foods, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's sad. Nothing, like, nothing interesting has popped up. Here, hold on. Yeah, not much interesting has popped up other than magnemites. I think it's weird. I saw a Sneasel too, where I originally was, but... I just kinda wanted to keep on moving on. Even though Sneasel's gonna be pretty decent, um... Just kinda moved on, you know. Moved on to the neck girl. No, I'm just kidding. It's not like it's a neck girl. <laughs> like, bro. Um... minutes ago. Probably end this video in a few minutes. There's really nothing else. This is more of a vlog than an actual gameplay. <laughs> like seriously. I'll talk more about the uh, stuff I got. Um, let's talk more about the stuff I got in my next vlog. I'll probably even show it to you guys. So yeah. Um... Um, so, yeah, my next vlog, I'll probably, I'll most likely show it to you guys and talk, about, talk more about the summer camp. So, yeah. Just gonna go around this block and I'll probably end it. So, like, today has been not a good day for the Pokemon Go in this area. Oh, alright, so let me tell you one thing about, um, one Pokemon Go experience I've had. So, there was... Um, I one time caught a Mewtwo. No joke, an actual Mewtwo. I mean, not in real life, but in the Pokemon Go. I caught a Mewtwo at 7,830 uh, CP. Still one of my best Pokemon right there. 
My friend was a complete idiot and wanted to prank me by transferring it. I'm like, ah, I hate you so much. What is that? It's a horsey. I'm not sure if you guys saw the, um, I'm not sure if you guys saw the la the label of the soda. Oh crap, and there goes my cat, oh no. One second guys. Okay, come on. I know I'm not gonna pause it right now. Cause right now I have, like, have no free hand. It's literally resting on my chest and my arm. Okay. So I'm not sure if you guys saw the label of that, of my soda. But if you did, this video is not sponsored. So I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button and break its thumb. Um, and make sure to be one of the first three people to subscribe, comment below. Um, so you gotta comment. I subscribe and join the Creeper Clan. Um, and yeah, so. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day and continue to have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.